Hang on, let me just check this thing's working. Yep, we're all good to go. Hello everybody. You guys are all looking excellent. Did you all enjoy the last session? Yeah. Good, good. So I started doing street art about 10 years ago. I'd stick up all sorts of stuff. Usually illustration based posters blown up big. It was just a fun hobby. So at the start of last year, I began putting up small hand-drawn stickers around the city centre with fake classified adverts on them and a fake number at the bottom. <laughs> it was a really enjoyable creative output and it was just what I was looking for. <laughs> it was somewhere between writing jokes, copywriting and street art. After a few weeks of this, I realised, why don't I do this with big pace-ups with a real number attached? I just needed to think of a group of people that I could bait into calling up and leaving voicemails. So in April of 2018, I stuck up this. It went crazy on social media. People called up the number. They were really annoyed. Suck my fucking mother love. Yeah, a dude's wide man. And she's been clear, yeah? And I've got a big, yeah? So guess what? But it's a fucker wall. Yo, bruv. Yo, my arm, bruv, yeah? <laughs> Cyclist loved it. <laughs> Had to follow it up. So I just went on trying to bait people into calling the number. Hey, but you sound like Tory scum, and it's actually pretty dumb. All right, have a good day. <laughs> Hello, well, well done, industries. Hello, uh, basically, um, I think I have uh, four jobs or four uh, vacancies from uh, ears for putting what do you call it uh, ears on someone's back or something like that. Yes. Would you like How to take is? part? Yeah, you, how much is it? You get £5.50 per ear, so 42 ears would be £2,187. So, are the ears big? The ears are baby ears, they're, they're, they're small, all sorted, but they're, they're, they're not as, they're, they're only baby ears. So, so, when they grow on my back, are they staying there for life? Yes, they, no, they stay there for six months and then we'll take them off. But you need to have an operation, we'll take them off, put them in the jar, and then you'll get paid afterwards. Oh, so after, so this, after six months, I get paid? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Once I realised that I had this platform, rather than just being for fun, I could highlight some real issues that were important to me. <laughs> then, of course, I'd have to follow it up with something surreal. From doing it, I realised that I was getting people to question the information that they were receiving. <laughs> that was really important to me, because I think a lot of people's realities have been crafted around them through the bombardment of false information. It's just a bad magic trick, designed to make you spend money or vote a particular way, or hate a certain subsection of people. What I want you to do is this. Go out there and replace their information with your own. The only rule is that it has to be positive. Use paint, stickers, wallpaper paste, anything to get a message out there that spreads positivity and love. The far right are on the rise across the world and they achieve it by using fake news to play on people's fears. If we create a culture of researching and fact-checking the information that we hear before acting on it, I think we can save the world. <laughs>